Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. I'm in Venice, very foggy. Looks like we're here early in the morning, but we're not. It is just after nine o'clock in the morning. Let's get going here. Kind of windy right here because it's so open. We're gonna do a mixed species thing today. Gonna be out here a good while. Not gonna stay at this spot very long. We're just making a stop. I'm gonna throw a sparkle beetle because it was already on might have too much depth underneath my popping cork because it's not that deep out there i don't see much going on this might just be one of those pea spots and then get the heck out still in venice really close to the mississippi river you can't see much because we still have a dense fog i'm going to do catfish and trout at this spot gonna throw out a six octopus that's a piece of perch with the gut pocket left on I'm gonna use a four I've never fished this particular spot but I believe I understand it already from what Dustin who's with us told me got a drop off that we could get hung in but we're gonna get get in the mud so I'll talk about that when that happens one of the problems that I can see here is a lot of boat traffic there's a lot of boats actually in front of us can't see all of them because of the fog there's a bunch over here fishing off this bulkhead some in the further distance and then we're going to have them coming back and forth this is a an area where people just come to like it's mecca to launch and right now there's a lot of duck hunters and trout fishermen in this area you see this guy right here coming across us that's a mud boat definitely was out duck hunting he might be finishing up looking for trout but I guarantee he was boom booming. Not extremely deep. It's already on the bottom. It had a nice hard thud. Hopefully we don't drift a lot. I don't want to drift in front of everybody because I am, I do seem to be drifting in this direction. I don't want to cause problems for my friends, but they're going to drift that way as well. We need to put our need to engage this bait runner before I came to this spot I traded out my popping cork for a four horseman There we go. We're getting hit. Unless someone's cast over us. See that? You got me? I got him. This fish feels good. There we go, I loosened up a little bit so he can take a little drag. This is 80 pound braid and he's, he's feeling decent. Oh yeah. Good question here is, do we have, what do we have? A freshwater cat, a bull red, you can't get blues here because the river is so close. Blues? Could get blue cat. Yeah. 
It's not fighting quite like a blue cat. Whoa, what a fight it is, though. Try to get him to turn his head. Get him coming this way. That did not take long either. No. <laughs> Watch it be a massive stingray. I see my lead. Oh, this this would have to be a massive stingray if it's doing this. Very possible because it does have a lot of downward pull. Ooh, like <laughs> not fighting like a shark though. That's a possibility here. Oh, look at that. That is. It's a red. It's a red. Yeah. It's a red. It's a bull red. I believe I do. Look at the size of that bull. As much on a mark way as possible. There we go. Nice. Yep, that's a nice red. Big old red. Oh, that is a <laughs> massive bull. And you know, it's crazy. You said you weren't even worried about the reds. That is a massive bull red caught on a piece of blue kill. <laughs> we are doing this one a favor. I'm not keeping this fish, but we're going to take out someone else's hook and then my hook. Got two hooks in this fish's mouth wow. that I see so far. There's the first hook. That actually is a pretty decent hook. I'm gonna keep that. And now for my hook. There we go. You're all clean, buddy, I think, right? You got anything else in there? Nope. Dad's fishing or he's just watching? We already fishing. Okay. Right. Settle down. 24 pounds, we'll say. Not bad. Only after a few minutes, guys. I'm pretty chuffed. I'm well chuffed about this. Of course, I'm going to let it go. We're going to do that right now. Awesome. Sweet. Just a jig head now. Piece of shrimp. Let's see if we can get a live bait. This white trout coming out of here really fat right now, too. Finally, Dustin, you got something. No, it's still there. It's right out here in front of us. Oh. Wow. Go down deeper, go down. Oh, oh. oh. Nice big black drum. Can't control it. There we go. Nice. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> if he's bringing you, you gotta go. You gotta go. She's still far out. He's somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Fish pulled the hook back there. This is my other rod that I brought. Just a piece of shrimp on it with a, a size one octopus. Let's see if I can get a white trout. <laughs> That's actually the size of bait I wanted. That is a little croaker. Six feet. Wait, what? It's not a big fish, but shrimp again. People were hitting blue cats out of this spot last week pretty good. Actually, Dustin was here getting blue cats. Look at that. We got a whiting this time. 
<laughs> I'm still catching fish, but they're not big and, and nothing special. But that's another another piece of bait right there for later. Hey, hey. That's what I really wanted to catch today. But that, of course, this is not a keeper, but first speck of the day. Yeah, I wanted to keep some trout. Got something different, I think, or bigger than the last little. Let's see what this is. Oh, well, it's not much different, but bigger, with bigger whiting. Maybe this is your uh, redemption. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, oh got off. did he? Oh, it came off? Yeah. yeah. It came off. Finally, you got redemption. Well, yeah, that's not yeah. what you lost those two times, but yeah. that is a decent white trout. You could actually fillet that. I had to borrow one dozen of them on my hooks. Huh. See that big old hook? Yeah, you had to get a bigger hook, huh? Yeah. Oh, Dustin, you're hooked up with something decent there. Why? Why, why hit the two smallest poles today? Here you go, bro. Fighting two fish, it feels like. Well, look at this. I've got a big slack line here. I feel like I'm about to be fighting two fish. Oh, no. Dang it. I did it to myself. <sighs> this fish wrapped me around my other line. Don't let that fish control you. Come down this way. Come down this way. Come down this way. Come this way, Dad. Come this way, Dad. Oh, that's another decent big one. Probably, ooh, he's prolapsing. <laughs> that one's, yeah, it's gonna be wormy. Gonna be wormy. Wormy. Uh oh Am I wrapped around the line again this time or not? I'm bringing some kind of fish in. Little guy again. Oh, look at this. Finally, my live bait, something is attacking it. No, I think, I think over here. Dang it! <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. It's, a it's a throwback! <laughs> there we go. That's that's what I had, or you had. Right. <laughs> Guarantee we're gonna come over here next time. Gotcha. Whoa. This is better than a mullet. Oh channel mullet is what has been coming out of this spot at the end here this felt like a small fish relatively till i got him right here we're about to leave too so this is probably my last fish from this spot i don't know what i have but it's my second big fish for sure. Even though I've caught a lot of fish today, 
the first one was the biggest so far. We'll see what this is. Maybe another black drum. Nothing's been really hitting live bait or cuff bait. It's just been shrimp and no, no freshwater cats like last week when I was not here. It's turning out to be one of those spots. You should have been here last week. Whoa. Oh yeah, come on. It's a sizable drum. Yes. His bung hole is poking out. Yeah, you're right, guys. Last fish for sure, because we're going to call it. It's getting late. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked though this is a really really fun day guys and there's more to come tomorrow too but it's going to be a little different yeah you're right all right guys thanks for watching liking sharing and subscribing i'll see you next time